So 4.2 is more formulas and we're just going to start solving for different variables. So when we do that, we simplify and then we isolate the variable we're looking for just using our solving skills. So here's an example. This is the Celsius um, when we have Fahrenheit. This is how we convert. So I want to isolate the variable F. So my answer is going to be F equals something here with the variable C. Alright, so it says simplify. I know you really, really, really want to distribute that. But we don't need to. All that's going to do is going to put something next to F that we have to get rid of. So when we do this, you got to think about what this means. This means 5 ninths times F minus 32. <clears throat> so this is we're using the opposites. So if we're timesing to get rid of this, we're going to divide by 5 ninths on both sides. So these become one, they cancel out, and then we're just left with F minus 32. And I'm going to drop the parentheses because we're not times even. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at this. C divided by 5 ninths. That is a fraction when we divide. We can't have that. So what we do is we use what we know. This is really c over 1 divided by 5 over 9. So when we divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So c over 1 times, and then we flip this fraction. Remember, copy dot flip. And then we can multiply straight across. So c times 9, proper form we would write 9c, 1 times 5 is 5. So this simplifies to 9c over 5. Okay, now we're really close. We need to get rid of the 32. So we're subtracting it, we're going to add it. So now we have f equals 9c5 plus 32. So you might think, well, I want to combine these. You can't. This has a c, this doesn't. So our answer is 9c over 5 plus 32. That's as simplified as we can go. Notice that c is still part of our answer because it, it's there. You can't just get rid of it.